Get ready to dive into the charm of a timeless TV series, McHale's Navy. This classic show from 1962, led by a captivating cast, takes you on a journey through the comedic waters of a naval base during World War II. Ever thought about which classic Hollywood actor steals the spotlight in McHale's Navy? Share your favorite with us. As we explore the series, brace yourself for a mix of emotions funny, surprising, and even a bit sad. There's more to this naval comedy than meets the eye. What makes McHale's Navy a lasting symbol of the industry? Tune in to discover the elements that keep viewers coming back. This series has a charm that transcends generations. Now, let's turn the spotlight on you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the show? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share the laughter, the surprises, and the moments that left a lasting impression. So, if you're ready for a trip down memory lane and a dose of classic TV humor, keep watching. There's a sea of funny, surprising, and poignant facts waiting for you in McHale's Navy. McHale's Navy, a classic World War II comedy series, is remembered as one of the classiest and funniest sitcoms of its time. It follows a misfit band of recruits in command of a PT cruiser boat stationed on a secure island in the South Pacific during World War II. Led by Lieutenant CMDR, Quentin McHale, the crew faces misadventures under the watchful eye of their commanding officer, Captain Wallace Binghampton, and his assistant, Ensign Charles Parker. Airing from 1962 to 1966 on ABC TV, the show spanned five seasons and produced 138 episodes, all in black and white. Tim Conway's hilarious antics and the chemistry between Joe Flynn and Conway made them a perfect comedy duo. Other notable cast members include Gavin McLeod, known for his role as Private First Class Joseph Happy Haynes, who later found success in other TV shows like The Mary Tyler Moore Show and The Love Boat. The show's success led to three color theatrical features, McHale's Navy, McHale's Navy Joins the Air Force, and the final installment, McHale's Navy Joins the Army, all produced while the TV series was still on the air. However, during its final season, the show faced challenges as McHale and his crew, along with Binghampton and Parker, were relocated from the South Pacific to Europe, specifically Italy, to fight against the Germans. This shift in setting contributed to a decline in viewer interest, ultimately leading to the show's end after five successful seasons. Looking back, McHale's Navy remains a significant contribution to the world of classic sitcoms, showcasing the talents of its cast and providing entertainment during its run. Lieutenant CMDR, Quentin McHale, fondly called Skipper by his crew, had a unique way of talking to his men, often referring to them as eight balls or schlockmeisters. In the naval sitcom world, this friendly banter added a special touch to the dynamics on the PT cruiser boat. Starting in 2007, the DVD sets included a reunion video with surviving cast members such as Ernest Borgnine, Carl Ballantine, Edson Stroll, and Bob Hastings. Unfortunately, Tim Conway, known for his comedy, passed away on 51 in 4 and 19, leaving a gap in the group. What made McHale stand out was his role as a PT boat captain with the rank of lieutenant commander. Normally, PT boat captains held the rank of lieutenant, but McHale's different position brought a unique twist to the series. This break from tradition show with the show's readiness to do things differently, making it stand out. As McHale's Navy sailed through the comedic side of World War II, the series' lasting success was clear. The chemistry between Tim Conway and Joe Flynn, showcased by Conway's funny actions, turned them into a memorable comedy pair. Notable cast members like Gavin McLeod, who later found success in other TV shows, added to the show's appeal. The change in setting during the final season, moving McHale and his crew to Europe to face the Germans, presented a challenge. This shift resulted in a drop in viewer interest and marked the end of the series after five seasons. Despite the difficulties, McHale's Navy remains a significant part of classic sitcoms, featuring a mix of humor and unconventional storytelling. Captain Wallace B. Binghampton earned the nickname Old Lead Bottom due to a war wound on his buttocks. This injury, acquired during World War II, added a distinctive touch to his character in the naval sitcom. Ernest Borgnine, a key figure in the series, served in the U.S. Navy during World War II as a gunner's mate, his time on the anti-submarine vessel USS. Slife along the Atlantic coast spanned from 1935 to the war's end. 
In 2004, the U.S. Navy honored him with the title of Honorary Chief Petty Officer, recognizing his consistent support throughout his career. The opening credits of the show feature phonetic flags representing C for Charlie, H for Hotel, K for Kilo, and L for Lima, spelling out CHKL or Chuckle. This clever arrangement sets the tone for the humor awaiting viewers. The series, running from 1962 to 1966 on ABC TV, has 138 episodes, all presented in black and white. Notable cast members include Tim Conway, whose comedic chemistry with Joe Flynn added a layer of hilarity to the show. Gavin McLeod, known for his role as Private First Class Joseph Happy Haynes, later found success in other TV shows like The Mary Tyler Moore Show and The Love Boat. A shift in the show's setting during its final season posed a challenge. McHale and his crew, along with Binghamton and Parker, were relocated from the South Pacific to Europe, specifically Italy, to face the Germans. Unfortunately, this adjustment led to a decline in viewer interest, concluding the series after five successful seasons. Lieutenant CMDR, Quinton McHale, affectionately known as Skipper, broke tradition by holding the rank of Lieutenant Commander as a PT boat captain. This unconventional choice added a unique twist to the series. McHale's friendly banter with his crew, often referring to them as eight balls or schlockmeisters, further defined the dynamics on the PT cruiser boat. Despite facing challenges during its last season, McHale's Navy remains a significant contribution to the world of classic sitcoms. The show showcased the talents of its cast, providing entertainment and humor during its run. The reunion video with surviving cast members in the DVD sets released starting in 2007, including Ernest Borgnine and others, stands as proof of the show's lasting impact. Admiral Rogers' first name switches between John and Bruce in the series, adding an element of surprise to his character. Notably, John Wright is the only surviving regular cast member from the show, keeping a link to the series' history. In the fourth season, Ernest Borgnine played two roles, being McHale's cousin Giuseppe in Giuseppe McHale and reprising the character in The Return of Giuseppe. Similarly, Joe Flynn show would his versatility by playing both Captain Binghamton and Seaman Smoot in Alias Captain Binghamton. These instances of actors taking on multiple roles highlight the flexibility and skill within the cast. The ability to seamlessly switch characters adds an extra layer of fun for viewers, showing the depth of talent in the ensemble. The show's commitment to innovation went beyond the screen. For example, Captain Wallace Binghamton's nickname Old Leebottom, given due to a distinctive war wound, added a unique touch to his character. This injury, a result of World War II, became a defining element of his persona, showing the show's attention to character details. Ernest Borgnine's real-life naval experience as a gunner's mate during World War II adds authenticity to the series. His recognition as an honorary chief petty officer by the U.S. Navy in 2004 highlights the genuine support he gave to the armed forces throughout his career. The series' opening credits feature a clever arrangement of phonetic flags spelling out CHKL or chuckle, setting the tone for the humor that awaits viewers. This subtle yet creative detail shows the show's commitment to including clever elements in its presentation. The reunion video included in DVD sets, starting from 27, gives a peek into the camaraderie among surviving cast members like Ernest Borgnine, Carl Ballantine, Edson Stroll, and Bob Hastings. It stands as proof of the strong bonds formed during the show's production. As the series entered its final season, relocating the characters to Europe to face the Germans presented challenges. This change in setting led to a decline in viewer interest, marking the end of the show after five successful seasons. And despite this, McHale's Navy remains a significant contribution to classic sitcoms, celebrated for its humor, unconventional storytelling, and a cast that left a lasting impact on television history.